This is for the Ethics Review class at Parker University. The first major section is a review of 12 licensing board rules, and the second rule we're taking a look at is the requirement to post public interest information. When a chiropractor receives their license, the state board provides them with a, a placard. It, I believe it's about eight and a half by 11 inches, just the same size as a typical piece of paper that notifies the chiropractor's patients that the chiropractor is regulated by the Board of Chiropractic Examiners and advises the patients how to contact the board if they happen to have a complaint. The rules require that each chiropractor is required to display a placard or sign uh, that provides that information. It needs to be uh, displayed in, a, in, in an area that's visible, can't be hidden away. Uh, currently, the rule provides that the persons responsible for posting that placard include both the doctors practicing at the facility, and that's each and every doctor practicing at the facility, as well as the owners of the facility. Now, the legislature just a few months ago repealed the requirement that owners must be registered with the Board of Chiropractic Examiners. So I don't know if that will continue to be a requirement. The key here is even if a doctor is working only as an employee in a clinic that is owned by someone who is not a licensed chiropractor, the doctor working in the clinic needs to be certain that they are that the placards are displayed and that they're displayed properly. Typically, the doctor should display their original registration and license, uh, but they may use a copy of their license if they work at more than one facility. Uh, as I mentioned previously, the placard must be displayed in a place that is conspicuous and prominent and in public view. Uh, cannot be hidden. If you think about it from the perspective of enforcement, this is probably one of the easiest rules for the state board to enforce. All they have to do is send somebody into your office and they can tell in a very few minutes whether you have this notice displayed properly or whether it's been hidden away somewhere where it's not in public view. Um, very simple rule to comply with, but also a very simple rule for the state board to pursue as a disciplinary action if there's a violation. Again, this is a very simple rule and that's all I that's the end of this video.